Good morning everyone, welcome to Sailing About where me and MP with the help of a bunch of amazing craftsmen and shipwrights have been building this boat for the last three years and now we are so close to getting into the water so we've decided to do this crazy idea of filming every single day what we do on this boat and posting it every single day. We have a few things to do but also we can get them done fast so let's work, quit your jibber jabber. What? I'm working. And then I'm gonna go working now. I think today's gonna be a good day. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, stay up to date with our videos, and, and hit that like button. Send good vibes, good luck, whatever you wanna send us good, send that our way because things are getting really real. Yeah. We need that. Anyway. Send whatever good goodness you have in you. <laughs> thanks for being here and enjoy this video. If you've been watching our daily episodes, you know that our batteries are now connected but they are not being fed with any power source they're just being spent at the moment which i don't want so the three ways we have to feed our batteries are solar panels shore power or the alternator of the engine the easiest one for us to do now because we are at the yard and is what we're going to use now we're not using engine or anything will be the shore power the shipyard power so what i'm going to do now i mean what ben's going to do now is drill a hole here so we can bring this very thick wire all the way to the multiplus that's on the other side of this wall and then we can make those connections so the shore power can start feeding our batteries then the next step will be the solar panels if they arrive on time and the alternator with the wake speed to also use the engine when the time comes <laughs> Modular boat. Before I continue down there, I'm gonna have. Can you please give me some 24 volt lighting? That was rather specific. Let you know when it's on. Yay! Okay, let's go. Okay, I need a hammer and a chisel, and then I can continue. I think this is thicker than the other wall. So you see this little black circle in the middle? It's getting, it's getting caught on that little screw bit in the middle. So I'm gonna have to chisel away like a centimeter and then I can go in again. And that's the only disadvantage of cup saws in very thick hardwood. You can only go up to where the cup saw allows you. Okay, the rest is up to you guys. So all we need to do now, well, all you need to do now is put that hose in there and start connecting stuff, right? Is it me or is it actually guiding itself through the next hole? I'm just gonna draw upwards with the pilot, okay? Okay, you're right there. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. No, it's, no, it's hot in that engine room. I've managed to help out Orlando and MP so they can continue now. It's just a bit of drilling uh, so they can continue the wiring. Now, we want the entire hole to look like this. And this is epoxy epoxy painted with resin epoxy primer and then an epoxy paint the only thing that hasn't been done like that is this sacrificial keel i think yesterday or the day before we managed to put some epoxy primer on it all we need to do now is sand it down with it. a little bit of scotch bright just all over get it nice and rough go over it with the, the compressor clean it with some rubbing and well with some ethanol and then we can already go over it with the epoxy paint i think it needs about two or three layers of it once that's done, we can just let it dry. And then the next step, well, 
once we let it dry, it's all going to be like this. Top of the waterline, polyurethane, under epoxy paint. And then the next will be the bronze and then the anti-fouling. So very excited about this. Nico's already under there. I'm going to get this and uh, get going. Ben's idea of adding that hose, I think made the job so much easier. I just had to really push through and he knew the way to go. So now you're ready to start connecting. I really love this tool. It's so satisfying when it clicks, clicks. And then I know it's tight, very tight, but without risking breaking this thing. We cannot really continue with the installation of the multiples for now because we're not ready for the 220. We don't even have the cable on board, but at least the 24 volt part is done. And for now I'm gonna shut it so it's not exposed to any dust or anything until I can continue. So let's go to the next text. Which is telling everyone where you got such a nice t-shirt. Sailing ever, cool octopus on the back. Can they get one? They can get one at shopsailingyaba.com And it comes in white? In white as well. Unfortunately, I just realized we don't have any catalyzer for the epoxy paint, so we're not going to be able to do that. It is all prepared and it might even arrive today, so we can just finish that keel today, which is going to be such a relief. Also, something else that's been on my mind for ages while I'm waiting for the other stuff is these chain plates. I'm finally going to epoxy the inside of those holes. One, two, three, four, six. There's 12 holes that I'm going to epoxy uh, resin and tape them and also while I've done that actually just before this I've also epoxied the transducer hole so that's protected and uh, once that's cured I can put that in place. I'm just going to tape these off now and put the uh, what do you call them put the chain plates in place hopefully today. I've managed to get most of these covered, or at least the insides painted with epoxy. Uh, I've got this very cute brush that I managed to use. It took a while because of the size of the brush, but I could get inside it. However, I am going to take all the paint, uh, all the tape off now. I'm going to put a scaffolding up here so I can actually get it painted from underneath because I couldn't reach all the way in. And uh, then that should be good. Then I can let it cure. And then I'm, I've realized I've got the massive lug screws to hold that in place, which are looking quite messy, so I'll probably just grind all that dirt off and give them a nice polish so once they're in place they do look quite nice actually i only have to polish two four out of the 12 because the other ones are going to have plugs on top is all the holes epoxied or at least these uh, one, two, 12. I'm gonna let this all cure now. I'm happy this is done. 
on a dry day. Can you believe it? And later I'll be back here. The MultiPlus is now half connected because we have the 24 volt part connected to it, but still not the 220. What I'm gonna do now is the first data cable of the whole installation that's gonna come from the shunt to the positive of the batteries and then from my phone, from the app, we'll be able to see the level of the batteries. This little bit of uh, bus bar here is the midpoint of our power bank and that's why we chose that as the shunt point. And now the exciting bit and it's a simple push-in. Done! Hey. <laughs> what can I say here? First of all, state of charge 100%, which is great. We've just been using a couple of lights here, mainly in the engine room because that is very dark. We haven't been spending the battery, so that's very cool. Voltage 26 because we have the batteries connected as two together in series for 24. But when we did the test, each one had 13 instead of 12, so the total is 26. And for now, no current, no power, no consumed anything because actually this is even off. Shall we turn it on and see how much amperage is being drawn? Sure. Okay, I'll go upstairs and turn the lights on. I'll turn this on. And you can go to the panel and turn all the lights on to see if anything changes. And? Oh yeah! Whoa! This is quite a mess up here, which you can ignore because we've just emptied out this while well, we've put a few ropes back in. But all I have to do, we've got these massive lug screws and a, I don't know, center around here, better light, massive lug screws. And I want two of them to be smooth and shiny. The rest is all going to be hidden. So I'm just going to go over it with a grinder and make it as shiny as I can. I made two just slightly cleaner than the others because they're the ones that are going to be on the hull. I also polished my knuckle or I grinded my knuckle a little bit so that will be nice and shiny as well soon. Uh, little tour around the boat, I'll be back in a second to let you know if I can install the chain plates or the transducer or if I'm going to start on the muffler. The muffler is a very cool job. It's the same muffler we had before so I'm just going to take off that top and I'll explain why soon and uh, check the inside and then fiberglass it shut again. Just about to go and check that epoxy, see if it cured. And we got a message that the shop had a little bit of catalyzer for us. It's not even that they had it in stock, but they had a client who didn't need it right away. So we're taking it off their other client and then, <laughs> and then we can use it while they stock up for them. And uh, I had to actually walk most of the way because see that queue over there? It's the traffic jam to get onto the ferry. And it was like that on both sides. So I ended up just, uh, what do you call it? I just parked on the other side, took the ferry by foot and walked all the way to that shop. But anyway, I've got the catalyzer. Let's go back and put it on the boat now. Took me a while to cross the river and come back more than usual, but I have everything ready to get that sacrificial keel painted and I'm quite excited for that. The weather is on our side. The sun was even out before and it was just some sun rays on the boat and that is the sign that we're going to be ready quickly or soon not quickly but uh just gonna mix this up put one layer on the entire sacrificial keel and a bit on the keel where we've sanded it down and primed it already and, and then i have to wait at least six hours before i put another layer so that will be tomorrow morning nico has already head off as it's already time to stop for today but i just think if i get this layer on now then the next layer i could put tomorrow morning and that speeds up a lot what is happening over here? It's a love session. Ah, look at this. The white isn't white. The black isn't black. It's what color are you? Perfect. Guys, I just want to use this moment actually to thank all of you who are so generous. I mean, we are just Ben and MP who are building a boat and thanks to all of you who are watching it, we've been able to build this channel and it really means a lot to us. So every one of you who's watching, thank you so much. And also everyone who's become a patron and helped us or supported us and followed us on this journey. And uh, thank you so much. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get painting. 
this smell is so nostalgic from when we were painting the hull. How nice is it that the sun came out just in time for me to paint primer? I don't know if this is completely lucky or very good measuring and estimation. The entire sacrificial keel now has its primer on and its uh, epoxy paint. Once this is all done, I'm gonna go over it with anything that has to be touched up before applying the anti-fouling because I want this underwater line completely ready before we move over to that crib next door, which is hopefully very soon. So yeah, this has one more layer tomorrow morning. Um, the transducer can already go in and also the chain plates because that epoxy resin has dried already. Now we are getting very close and I feel it and I hope you feel it too and I hope you're enjoying these daily episodes. So I'm gonna call this one a wrap for today as I have to let it cure anyway. And I'll be back tomorrow with MP with more stuff to be done. Today was quite a cool day. I wasted some time going over to get that catalyzer which totally wasn't planned, but Thank you so much for watching. Thanks if you're a subscriber, thank you so much. And like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, see you guys tomorrow. Even though I was painting in the sun, fresh breeze and so on, it has started tipping it down again. This is incredible. Like, can you believe this? Welcome to an everyday life on our boat build. Either way, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. Hopefully it is a lot drier tomorrow.